With almost 500,000 kilometers of tarred roads, South Africa has one of the best road networks on the African continent. The people who make all this possible are known as paving and surfacing workers. Paving and surfacing entails laying bituminous materials like tar and other materials onto roads, runways, parking areas and other surfaces that need to be paved. This allows the surface to carry much heavier traffic and ensure the safety of drivers. To do their work, paving and surfacing workers follow step-by-step -step processes. First, they sweep the surface to ensure that dirt does not get mixed into the paving material. On large projects, special machines are used to do this. The paving and surfacing workers then sprinkle or brush hot and cold tar mix over the surface to be paved or repaired to bond the tar topping onto the base. Tank truck operators then come in and spray tar, road oils and emulsions onto the surfaces prior to paving. Part of the work of a paving and surface worker entails tripping the truck tailgate levers to pour a hot mix of tar into the paving machines. They then spread stone chips, gravel and cold mixed tar onto road surfaces. Once this is done, tar is carefully shoveled into places where the machines are not able to reach. Finally, the tar mix is compacted using either a road roller, rakes or hand tampers. All this is done so that the newly tarred surface will be smooth and level once the mixture cools down. When the mixture has cooled, any damaged surfaces that still need work are straightened using jack hammers. In smaller areas, blow torches are sometimes used. While waiting for the tar to cool down and dry, cars are not allowed to drive over it. Directing traffic around the roadworks is sometimes also the responsibility of the paving and surfacing worker. When the road is ready to use, the workers are also responsible for removing any barricades or caution signs that were put up to protect the site. If you are interested in a career as a paving and surface worker, you can take up a learnership or mentorship program with any construction company. Another option would be to receive training from a construction training school. When you start work, you will then need to gain practical skills through on-the-job training and general work experience.